Right, I want to have another go at the loop on the ground today because this hasn't been overly successful. Now, after the last video, I had a couple of comments posted. Uh, one was from uh, Chris at Cross Country Wireless. Um, he made the suggestion that really you need some kind of uh, um, preamp in the uh, system because the uh, signal level put out by a loop on the ground is lower than the noise floor on the radio. So uh, he, su he suggested you need some kind of a uh, preamp in there and um, he's um, suggested that I have a go at uh, putting one of these, uh, one of his uh, beverage antenna amplifiers in there. Now I've featured a few cross country wireless products in the past. I'm not actually sponsored by cross country wireless. I, I don't get paid any money for this review but uh, Chris sent me this one free of charge just to try out i don't get to keep it i do have to send it back afterwards if i want to keep it i have to pay uh, full this price same as anyone else but uh, chris sent me one of these units just to uh, review so i've uh, stuck it in the um loop downstairs uh, one of the other comments that came in was um Richard C. He said, uh, can you try lifting the loop a few inches above the ground and seeing what difference that makes? He says, your installation sounds more like a loop in the ground as opposed to a loop on the ground. So, okay, we can do that. So what I've done is I've uh, been out and put the um, pre-amplifier, the uh, beverage amplifier from uh, cross, cross Country Wireless in and I've got a couple of photos here. And... Uh, I've raised it off the ground a tiny bit, so ignore this little black box uh, behind it here. That's the old um, transformer that I made in the uh, previous video. So that's that's not actually connected to anything. So I've put a uh, cross-country wireless um, preamp in here and uh, I've just taped it onto this uh, garden cane with uh, electrical tape which I've stuck in the ground. So that gets it sort of, I don't know, maybe three or four inches or so off the ground and uh, just use some fairly thin wire and that runs around the garden so um, there you go that's one of the other uh, canes I've just laid it out in a square so you can see again just a few inches above the ground and that's the garden so there's the uh, amplifier down there down to this post around to this post and I know the wire is green and the grass is green so it's probably not very easy to see but you can just about make out the wire going back to that post there and across back to the um, amplifier so it's resting on the grounds it's sagging and resting on the grounds in the middle here but uh, it's for the most part it's uh, at least a couple of inches above the ground and uh, I've got quite a thick um, and if I go back a couple of photos I've got quite a thick uh, feeder cable there that's um, RG213 if I remember rightly so fairly thick low loss cable now what I've been doing here is uh, another side by side comparison so uh, I'm running it same as before running it alongside my um, N-fed half wave, so that's an N-fed half wave resonant on 80 meters. Uh, I've been, I've actually been testing it on 40. 80 was a little bit quiet, um, it's a little bit early in the day for 80, so uh, I decided to have a go on 40. And if I switch you on to my other camera, you can see how I tested this. I've got uh, two screens here, um, so this one is. This top one is connected into um, my main desktop computer, which is running on uh, this RSP1A, if I can get it in the screenshot there. So this is a um, SDR receiver, and uh, that's running um, Whisper on this screen here. This tablet is a completely separate computer, not connected to the main system. Uh, this is connected to... Um, my FT857 down here which you can just about see it's just on the uh, edge of the screenshot there um, now you're probably not going to be able to actually see the text but what I've been doing is running these two screens simultaneously I've, I've paused it for the moment just so uh, so it stays still so I can see but what I've been doing is you can see up here I've got the same stations as down here so I'll just line the screens up and um, compare the two so 
let's take for example this top one uh, DK4 VY it does seem to be mainly German stations on here at the moment he's uh, minus 27 dB now these dB figures are um, either below or above the noise so it's not the overall signal strength it's where they are in relation to the noise floor and um, he's minus 27 dB below the noise floor that's on the end fed half wave up here minus 25 so basically the same uh, let's go next one down is uh, DL9 DAT he is minus 9 on that one and minus 7 up here so not a huge amount of difference and then you've got a bit of variation and this one picked up a couple of stations that this one didn't and vice versa uh, they both picked up uh, DL8 SDJ which is he's minus 32 on the end fed half wave minus 18 on um, on the loop now the loop is um, is slightly directional as in fact is the uh, end fed half wave and they're not quite um, lined up so uh, they're not lined up perfectly so the nulls and peaks are you know slightly offset from each other so this might account for some of the variations here now if we go down to the next round i've got dl2 ngt he is minus nine on the end fed half wave and he is plus two on the um loop on the ground so this loop on the ground does seem to be working um let's go next one down is dl9 gcw is again minus nine plus three so into germany the loop's actually doing really quite well um dl9 vo is uh minus 19 minus nine so first impressions um are actually looking pretty good now this is like i say this is just on 40 meters um and typically it seems to be anywhere from five to ten dbs better than the end fed half wave so i'm thinking i'm not sure whether lifting that wire up off the ground has made a difference but i think uh, the wire that's on the ground or in the ground that i previously laid is uh, probably not working because this is a significant difference just by changing that wire so there's there's something going on there i wonder if there's a break in the um in the old wire which would explain the uh, slightly naff results but uh, at first glance this does look pretty good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it on uh, 80 meters for a few minutes now and uh, we'll compare the two side by side and uh, see what the difference is on 80 but first impressions uh, all the results seem to be either more or less in the same ballpark or better on the uh, loop on the ground which is what i would hope for and what i would expect so let's uh, let's run this on 80 for a little bit and uh, see what happens on 80. okay been running on uh, 80 meters now for not too long only about five or ten minutes but uh, let's have a look at the results if i switch on to the other uh, camera so let's uh, just start at the top i won't do the whole list but i'll just pick out a few so here's uh, f4 frq he is minus 17 on the end fed half wave on the loop on the ground he's minus 26 uh, german station dk2 db minus 20 on end fed half wave 28 on the loop on the ground uh, g0 ory is uh, minus 6 on the end fed minus nine on the loop on the ground uh pick one or two near the bottom so there's uh g4 vme he's minus 19 on the end fed minus 26 on the loop on the ground so okay so to sum this up then i think um on 80 meters is uh the loop on the ground isn't quite as good as the end fed half wave it's uh the end fed half wave is uh, sort of up to about five db or so down on the uh, loop on the ground uh, sorry the loop on the ground is up to five db 
down on the end fed half wave uh, 40 meters was actually somewhat more successful so that makes me think the uh, setup i had before um probably had a problem maybe there's a break in the uh, wire that i've put in the ground or something like that something i need to have a look at but on 40 meters um the loop was either near enough matching the uh, end fed half wave or even outdoing it in a lot of cases so um for 40 meters i think this is uh, worth looking into a bit further for 80 meters uh not so much but uh of course that amplifier is really designed as a beverage antenna so what i want to do is uh maybe for a later video get it down the um, antenna farm down the field and uh, put a nice long piece of wire across the ground there and um, use it as a beverage antenna and just uh, see how well that works because if, if I lay it out um, along the fence line that points just slightly well it points west perhaps very slightly northwest which uh, takes you to the United States so that should be good if I can get that set up on 20 and then maybe have a beam as well or uh, even a halfway vertical we should be able to get to uh, America from there so uh, I want to try that next with this uh, beverage antenna but uh, for my purpose 80 meters it might have worked better if I could get a bigger loop but I don't really have the space for that but 40 meters, I think it's definitely worth experimenting a bit further with because uh, it does seem to get the signals slightly up above the noise level. <laughs> 